Shalom, beloved. It's a word. I had someone contact me and ask me um, to make a video. Why haven't they heard from me? And the Lord sometimes has us in isolation. Sometimes we are in our own transformation period, as are many of you. And one of the things that was on me, even when I heard from the person, the thing that came to me was Luke, what Yeshua said when he came ministering. One of the things was he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, to the captives. Many of us are held prisoner by a lot of the disappointments, a lot of the hurts and harms that have happened to us. A lot of us are caught up in things we cannot change, but when we give it over, when we recognize that that which is holding us captive can be taken captive through the word of the Most High, that we are no longer held to what our parents told us we are and are not or how people want us to act. We're not held captive to having to be people pleasers. Well, I've been doing this all these years and I'm tired of doing it, but everybody used to it. That's being held captive. But you see, those who the Lord sets free are free indeed, beloved. And how do we know? When you look in 2 Corinthians, he said, bringing into captivity every thought, those thoughts, some of the things that are holding us captive are in our minds. They're in our imaginations. They're smiling when we don't want to smile. They're giving when we don't have to give. They're allowing people to treat us in a way we don't want to allow them to treat us. And what it is, it's a captive. Activity. That doesn't mean you have to get negative or anything like that, but you are allowed to be who you are. And when Yeshua came to set the captives free, many of us are held captive to the standards of this world. But although we in it, we not of it. And we have to bring it into captivity through obedience to Christ. The, the word says Christ, but that's the word of the most high. That's what it's telling you. It's got to come under the obedience of the word, meaning you don't have to live by that standard anymore. It doesn't matter if somebody said, why are you getting new? And you're not getting new. You're just being who you are. And recovering sight to the blind. Yes, sometimes we knew it was always there, but we allow other people, we're trying to deal with a lot of things that, that's not your burden to carry anymore. To set at liberty them that are bruised, there are people that are crushed, that are pounded by situations that are holding them captive. You have the key in your hand to be set free. That key of faith, that key to step out on the truth, that key that says, I don't have to stay where I don't wanna stay. I don't have to say yes when I want to say no. I don't have to stay when I want to go. It's all right. And you are not obligated to explain yourself down to a minute detail. When your heart is at peace with Yahuwah, you don't have to worry if the world is saying, well, what's going on? Let them run. Let them rush. That has nothing to do with you. He isolates us. He isolates us to draw us closer, to let us know it's okay. Everybody is not going to like you. Everybody is not going to be your friend, nor do you want them to be your friend because some of them are walking around and they do not have your interest at heart. I don't even like using the word best interest. I, I really try to get rid of that. A lot of people just don't have your interest at heart. They will be around you for what they can get from you. They will steal your ideas and your dreams and run out in front of you and try to implement them, acting as though they were their original thought. And then when you come along, it's like, oh, everybody know about that. They'll try to minimize 
what you do. When Yeshua came to preach the gospel of the good news to the poor, poor, poor wasn't just the poverty of a pocket. Some of us are poor in spirit. Some of us are poor in our mind, in our mindsets. Some of us are poor in our hearts because we're around people that drain us. We're around takers instead of people who give. People know when they're around the giver and they become like a vampire. But you see, Yah is a God of order. He's, he's a yah of balance. You're not supposed to give, 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 and somebody else take, 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 take. Remember now, he said, let your yes be yes, and your no. It's all right now to tell him no. Let your no be no. Some people need to hear no, and you need to stand on that no. Get on a solid rock and say no. When enough is enough, it doesn't matter if it's your children. It's time to say, no, you got to work for yourself, baby. I'm not going to carry you. It's time for you to pay a bill. This burden is too great. When he said to preach deliverance, some of us need to be delivered from ourselves, from old habits, from certain things we've allowed people to do. You don't have to wait till tomorrow. You don't have to make a big speech. All you got to do is tell them, this is where I stop or this is where I start. It's always been there, okay? When he came, he came to heal. Some people's hearts are broken because you were looking in all the wrong places for love. We are supposed to honor and love. Love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, mind, soul, and spirit. See, when you love Yah, he will give you the secret desires of your heart. You're looking for somebody else to bring it about, and all you're doing is getting more and more broken, but when he came, he came in the fullness of the spirit, the volume of the book. There's no lie in him. There's no lie in him. And even if what you want didn't come yet, doesn't mean it's not going to get there. And believe me, when it does, it's going to have your name on it. No one can steal it. No other person can claim it. It's for you. I loved when he gave me the full spirit of this, when he gave me uh, the spirit of what he was saying, he sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Some of us have broken hearts, broken hearts because our children didn't turn out the way we wanted. Some of us are alienated from our children, but this may be a season for your isolation. So that not only can your children's eyes be open, but yours too. You don't have to buy them. You don't have to give them. Love does not charge a price. It doesn't have a price tag. The world will tell you it does. But love doesn't put a price tag on things. If you give me this, if you do that, or you won't do this and that for me, you won't give me what I want, but then I ain't going to be here, okay? They were never there. You might have had a, a fleshly form, but you never had the person to preach deliverance to the captives. You see, some of us have been captive by old hurts. Some of us have been captive to the way people treat us. But until you open your mouth and speak, I believe, therefore, I speak. You don't have to get nasty or negative. You just speak the truth. How do we know? And bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ, Yahuwah, the word of Yah, the word, okay? See, the weapons of our warfare, they're not carnal, but they're mighty. You know, when he's talking, giving that sermon, and the recovering of sight. See, sight can be lost. We lost sight of who we are. We lost sight of whom we belong to. That's all right. You fall down, you go boom, but you're standing on an everlasting rock. And while you're starting to struggle to get up, he already lifted you. He's got you in the hollow of his hand, my love. He's got you there. And to set at liberty, freedom, them that are bruised. You know, some bruises are poundings and poundings until you speak, until you decide enough is enough. Enough is enough about having these negative thoughts. Our minds can be under attack. Let's go back, beloved. Let's go back. Casting down imaginations 
See, there's imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of Yah. You're a child of the Most High. The only thing exalted over you is Yah. Yah is exalted. I don't care if it's a boss, so-called boss, or somebody. I'm the supervisor. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. I got to cast you down. These high things. These high things. Okay? If they don't come into obedience, bring it into obedience. You're more than a conqueror, beloved. You're being set free. And that which had you captive is now being brought into captivity. Sometimes he got to get us by ourselves. He got to get us by ourselves to make our thoughts line up, to make our hearts line up, to make our spirits line up. So if you're feeling some kind of way, that does not mean that you've done something wrong or that that's the final signature at the end of the story of you, okay? All it means, all it means, the Lord has came. He's come to anoint. He's been anointed to preach the gospel. Who? Yeshua. He's preaching the good word, the basura, to the poor, the poor in spirit, the poor in your thoughts, we got to raise the vibration. Somebody come around with that low vibrational, no, no. I'm all yes to positive. I'm no to the negative. Negative personalities can drain you. I've been around people, they just talk so negative. It's draining. You, you, you go from up here to your knuckle dragging. Okay. Mm -mm, mm -mm. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, beloved, and to preach deliverance. Some of us need deliverance, beloved, and the Lord gets us by ourselves so that he can deliver us, whether it's from drinking too much, whether it's from being around the wrong people, having the wrong mindset, following the ways of the world, knowing that's not what we want, and recovering of sight to the blind. Why? Because we were looking and could not see. And now we see clearly, though once we look through a glass darkly, it is just the word beloved, okay? He has come to set at liberty them that are bruised. Remember, this is the Lord's doing, okay? You are mighty. His word is mighty to the pulling down the stronghold. It's a word beloved. Shalom.